It's runtime, and today is Friday, September 19th, so here's everything that happened in Indian tech over the last 24 hours. First of all, Chennai-based electric motorcycle startup Rapti HV has become the first Indian electric motorcycle company to receive funding from the Technology Development Board under India's Department of Science and Technology. Now, we don't know how much they've raised from TDB, but in the past, Rapti HV has raised a $5 million pre-series A round and a $20 million series A round. And one thing that's interesting about Rapti HV is that they're calling their electric motorcycles high powered because their bikes actually use high voltage electric car technology, meaning that they can access CCS2 car charging networks. Rapti HV has filed 156 patents and they've also developed their electronics in-house and their Chennai facility has an annual capacity of 100,000 units. But a lot of would-be customers are feeling frustrated because Rapti hasn't set clear expectations on when they're going to start delivering these bikes. And so people have pre-booked Rapti HV's T30 electric motorcycle, but they don't really have any clue when it's going to be delivered. Now, speaking of electric motorcycles here, Ultraviolet Automotive is now selling their bikes in France. And this is a company that has been hell-bent from the beginning on going global. I remember talking to Niraj and Narayan back in 2021, and this was actually before they had even launched the F77. And so now in 2025, they are actually doing it. They're selling their EVs in Germany, in the UK, the Netherlands, Austria, Switzerland, Belgium, Italy, and now France, which is just amazing to see because I love seeing Indian companies go global. All right, next up, the India AI mission has revealed the eight AI companies that are going to be part of the second batch of this mission. These companies are Bharatgen, Fractal, Tech Mahindra, Avatar AI, Zente, QAI, Genloop, NeuroDX, and Shod AI. So this means in total, there are 12 companies now that have joined India AI mission. In phase one, there was also Socket AI, Gnani AI, Gan AI, and Saravam. And so now what are these companies in phase two doing? What are these companies focused on? Well, Bharatgen is actually a consortium led by IITs and especially IIT Bombay. They're building India-centric multilingual and multimodal LLMs and speech models to reduce dependence on foreign AI. And they actually just partnered with IBM to accept accelerate AI adoption in India. Fractal is a global enterprise AI and analytics company, and they're also now building open source foundation models like Fathom under the India AI mission. And then we have Tech Mahindra, who probably doesn't need any introduction. They're a big IT services company, uh, but they're building end-to-end -end AI solutions. And one very cool project from Tech Mahindra is Project Indus. This is an LLM that they're building for India from the ground up. Then Avatar AI builds domain specialized AI agents and tools like, for example, Velocity, which can turn product links into product videos. Zente QAI is developing scientific foundation models that embed physics, math, and domain constraints into the model so that it reasons from first principles. And then we have Genloop offering enterprise LLM infrastructure. After that, there's NeuroDX. Uh, they're building AI-driven EEG diagnostic solutions. And EEG is a method to record an electrogram of the electrical activity in the brain. There really isn't a lot about this company uh, information online at the moment. I couldn't even find their website. But then moving on to the last company here, Shod AI is building infrastructure and tools for training large neural networks. Now, each of these eight companies needs to kill it going forward. India's IT minister, Ashwini Vaishnava, has set a clear goal saying they need to become one of the top five players, each in their individual sectors on a global level. All right, moving on here now to the next news item, Vyom IC, which is a space tech startup founded by IIT Madras alumni, has raised a $1.6 million pre-seed round that's about 14 crore rupees. And this round was led by Special Invest with participation from BYT Capital and DVC. They're going to be using this pre-seed round to develop a payload for a low Earth orbit satellite. And specifically, this is a navigation payload or PNT, that's positioning, navigation and timing. So basically, this payload broadcasts signals so that we here on Earth know where we are. And just as an example here, uh, whenever you check your location on Google Maps, for example, or when you check your ETA in a cab, the GPS chip in your phone is receiving a signal from a PNT payload up 
in space. But this is just the start for Vyom IC. They're planning to build a global satellite constellation for navigation services. And one of the founders of the company, Vaibhur Jain, said, we're not just building an Indian alternative to GPS. We're building a next-gen global system engineered for autonomy, security, and precision. Vyom IC's technology is aiming to deliver a number of upgrades to current PNT powered navigation, uh, higher precision, faster convergence, stronger signal power, and better indoor navigation capabilities compared to GPS or GLONASS. Now, obviously, this is a very ambitious mission, but this is the same team that led Avishkar Hyperloop, uh, which was India's student-led Hyperloop initiative. And then later on, they managed drone swarm deployments for the government of India. And then just to wrap things up here, something really interesting that I think you should all go check out. Alicia Lobo is going to be hosting an X space focused on manufacturing as a service today, Friday at 8 p.m. India Standard Time. And this is part two of her Manufacturing India 101 X space series. And many of the speakers in this conversation will be folks who are already offering mass. And I attended the last X space Alicia hosted and it was incredibly illuminating and helpful. So do go check it out if you're in manufacturing already or if you are interested and curious to get into it. All right, that is all of the Indian tech news that I have for you all today. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you wanna join our exclusive WhatsApp community, just DM the Runtime account on X. Tell us about yourself and what you're building and we'll send you access and I'll catch you in the next one.